What's up guys, welcome back to the One Man Startup. Today's episode we're going to actually do our wireframing. So we're going to wireframe out every page of the app. Uh, to keep things shorter and more time sensitive, I did already do a good bit of the wireframes, but I am going to go through and start from square one for the wireframes for the past trips. First thing I normally do is I just get a sheet of paper like this, right? Just blank piece of computer paper. Um, and when, when initially starting out the wireframes, it's nice to kind of have uh, multiple screens, if you will, like, like a few different screens that you can do. Um, so I normally just fold this into eighths. So I'll just fold it in half both ways and fold it in half one more time this way. All right, then when you open this up, you'll get a nice eight piece that's like relatively the size of a of a mobile device. Um, so there we go, we got like eight screens here. As you can see, each one of these will be just a, uh, we can just like mess around with it and do a, do a sample screen. So for the past trips, um, the one thing we definitely want is to be able to view like your most current trip. So maybe in past trips we do something like, I guess this would be past trips. And that can be, you know, just like a heading there. Um, so maybe view most recent. Would be like a title there. And then your trip can be like a box. Now, before I continue too much, let me actually show you some of the ideas I already have for the uh, upcoming trip. Here's a wireframe I already did. Um, and I could kind of walk you through a little bit of the process here. So I started just kind of drawing basically what I want to be on here. So upcoming trips is gonna show you like, you know, your two upcoming trips if you have two in there. I was thinking maybe of having like an arrow here that you could, you know, go view all the trips. Uh, but then I didn't like that idea, so I just X'd it out, cause, uh, which is the good thing about the wireframe. Uh, as well, then I thought, like I was thinking this could be the home page, and it would just be your past trips and your upcoming trips and kind of list them out. Then I got a little bit deeper into it, and I was thinking maybe the card would be nicer if your uh, upcoming trip showed, like like let's say if it was New York City, if the upcoming trip showed your, um, you know, like a little picture of New York as like kind of a background, maybe faded a little bit. Uh, and then, you know, had the date, had kind of how you were traveling, if you're traveling by car or plane, and then give your estimate for the day. Um, and then obviously the same as with DC. These are just like examples of kind of how that could look, and that would be like scrollable. Uh, then I was thinking like probably there'll be a navigation, bottom navigation on it. So kind of just played around with that. Then, so mainly, all most of this I liked the idea. So then I got a, later on I went back and, you know, just check off kind of the pages that I do like. Uh, and X'd out the ones that I don't. Like, I'm not going to do this at all. Um, but I will use probably these these larger cards. Um, so, kind of, and I, I guess I'll just go back, go through the whole upcoming trips page, and then we can jump into the, the past trips, because they will be kind of similar. The next thing is, so if you click on one of these, like if you click on New York City here, uh, it's going to go to this, like, details page. And so for the details page, I was thinking it's just going to be, you know, it'll say New York, probably that same image will be here, just like more prominent and centered. Uh, and then New York will probably be centered, centered text there as well. Um, and then below, it's just going to say like the dates of your trip and then your daily budget, which is what you're projecting your daily budget to be. Again, these are the upcoming trips, so you don't actually know the budget yet. That could be right there. Uh, and I want this to be like very prominent, you know, very big, uh, cause that's like kind of the main reason you're using this app. Um, so that would be like your daily budget there. But another thing is I want to show how many days till your trip. So this one would be like seven days left and it'll also tell you how much is saved. Another feature coming, going off this is you're going to have down here is going to show you, or it's going to allow you to set how much money you've set aside already. So potentially every day you could just go in or like multiple times a day and you could be like, okay, I save 50 bucks, save that. And then it'll tell you kind of like with a little note, be like, you saved, you know, six or you saved $600 so far for your next trip. Um, so that was one idea there. This, I don't think needs to be a whole page by itself. So kind of what I did was I highlighted the piece I like and I'm gonna move that into be this actual homepage. 
So the homepage I think will look more like, like all this text is obviously written pretty big. I don't think it's actually gonna take up that much space on the phone. It'll probably be like one or two lines. Um, but it'll say kind of, you know, when you first go on the app, it'll be like you saved, you know, $200 so far for your New York trip, which is your first one coming, your next one coming up. And this card is probably going to, is going to be like right here in next trip. This is your main page now. So basically this stuff is going above here. Um, so it says like you saved this much, you still need to save 400. And then right here on the home page, you can just simply enter in that 50. You just click there and, you know, type in 50 and hit save and immediately it'll just update all that stuff there. Uh, and then it'll update obviously the details, like the details page there if you were to click on it here and go into it. Um, so that's kind of the basic feel for the upcoming trips and how that's gonna work. So past trips I think is gonna be very similar. We're going to still use, um, you know, that card view. So this will be like your past trip. So if we already went on our New York trip, it'll be like New York, U-R-K. Uh, and it'll still do, you know, like that city look to it, uh, the same image thing. Like these cards will be the same. Maybe the information will be a little different because it can still say the dates. And then I guess it could say your actual budget. So maybe your actual budget was like 310 a day. Um, but then that's going to be kind of the thing that's going to change. So like once you have a past trip, you're going to need to be able to update information on it. So once you're on a trip, like as you're currently on the trip or after your trip, it'll be, um, you'll be able to like obviously see all the stuff that you have here. You'll be able to see all the stuff that you have right here in your trip detail. But then I think at once as a past trip or like once the trip started, there'll be other, there'll be other things that are added basically to this, to this view right here. Um, and the main one's gonna be like your actual budget. And you'll be able to, I mean, every day you can put that in, um, or you could put it in at the end of your trip and like, let it, let it be divided out. Um, I think, I think during your trip, it'll be like this, like every day it'll have an option for it. And then like the button will be like, that's what I spent today. I spent today, you know, yeah, you kind of get the gist of that, that probably it wouldn't be called that, but but yeah, you'd have your actual budget every day. You could just go in and like type in what your actual budget is. And actually maybe even this piece here, now that I'm thinking about it, when you're on a trip, this would change to be, you know, how much did you actually spend today? I like that idea better. So we'll do that. So uh, on trip, this will change to how much did you spend? Today. and save. And then the good thing about this is you could, as you're going throughout the day, let's say you just went and got lunch and you spent $30, you could just type it in, hit save. You're already tracking it in real time. Um, so that's gonna be, this feature will be the same when you're not on a trip, it's gonna be about saving your money for a trip. And this this app isn't gonna actually save money for you. It's just gonna let you track the money you've saved. So I basically moved you know, $50 over into a, a savings account I, I log that here and then when I'm on the trip, okay, I spent $35, boom, it's really quick. That's like a really quick thing to, to add in. Um, so yeah, then I guess the only thing that's really going to change is it's just going to show your actual budget and it's going to be based off of, based off of that amount that you calculate. So this is going to be kind of a, a scroll from this. It's going to be your actual budget. This could be here, whole trip. But uh, cost, that can go here for sure because now the trip is over. Um, here, I guess it would be like rate your trip. And probably this will just be stars. You know, you could do it up to five stars. Um, and this piece is actually probably going to go to the top. So once you're done with your trip, that's probably going to just pop up like in between this area here, like right under the map. Um, but these are kind of almost like their own little their own little blocks of code, that, their own little blocks of design, blocks of code. Um, but that's definitely just something we're gonna want on that page. Uh, and then trip notes. So I think how we're gonna do this is actually even in the upcoming trip page, I think we're just gonna have like a plus sign here and that'll bring you to notes. And then that note, it'll just bring you to like one note. And then that note will be specific to this trip. 
is kind of all one page now because these are going to like merge together. It's not going to say upcoming in that sense, but but this is going to be the same, like the same view essentially. Uh, so yeah, I think that's probably generally it. Um, so as you can see, like this is kind of how the wireframing process goes. You, I mean, definitely take your time with it and really write out all your ideas like this. I'm kind of just giving you one quick idea, but really, I mean, like, as I was saying before, you want to look, you want to like change the ideas and then kind of like, okay, here's another one for the Explorer page that I did before. These two ideas are probably not going to happen, but see these two bad ideas lead you to like a, a decent piece of an idea. Then I was thinking we'll keep that card here and on the Explorer page, it's actually just going to start listing out the different cities. So it'll, when you first go to the Explore page, it'll be like the best, the best value. And so you can just see these city cards, like, okay, New York's a pretty good value, $150 a day. Uh, and then it can have another one that's like a little bit more expensive or like more expensive ones and have the, those cards there. And this is just like scrollable. The Explore page is going to have a search bar and then it's going to have this stuff. So then it's going to have the best value with the cards. Um, and then if you start to search something, it'll start auto filling it. All this stuff will get hidden and it'll start auto auto populated and then like let's say you start typing in new york all these suggestions come up you click on new york and then boom you go over to this page which is just going to give you like the map view which is kind of like this and below it it'll give you you know it'll say new york average budget from people on the app and the distance from you uh so that's basically how i feel the explore page is going to go uh one last one that i did is the creating a new trip so again, all this stuff is going to be from here. All this stuff is going to be in this bottom nav. So, so yes, the, the creating a trip. I want this to be kind of like a, like a wizard in a sense. I don't want it to just be like one whole form. Like we, like we kind of saw in the last video. So when you first hit that button to create a new trip, it's going to just immediately ask you where you want to go. And that's all it's going to ask you on this whole page. It's going to take a whole page be like, where do you want to go? You could search it. And as you search it, it can auto populate with like New York and have the average budget next to it. If we have that data, um, then you'll hit next. And when you go to the next page, it's going to ask you when you're going. And I want a calendar view there. So it'll just be like a, a nice calendar view. You could choose the date you're going. You hit next to that and it's going to be uh, what you think your daily budget is. So this is going to be your estimate of the daily budget. And obviously right here, it would be nice to see the average below it for that location. Um, so on this page, there's going to be two options. You can just set your average daily budget. So you could just say, you know, $300 a day and then just go to next, or you could build a budget here and building a budget is kind of breaking down your budget. Like we talked about. So if you want to build your budget, there'll be kind of these four main areas that kind of every trip take uh, like every trip has these four areas of uh spending in them so transportation you could say like daily i want to spend you know 40 bucks on transportation food daily i want to spend you know 50 dollars, and you get kind of the gist of that lodging entertainment and then you can add custom ones as well so if you're doing something like i don't know if you're doing something more specific a trip that's more specific you can uh add your custom things there and that could calculate your budget for you. Basically, it's just going to add up all those numbers, and that's going to become that main number there. And then you could hit done. Uh, done here, I guess from here, either way, if you build a budget or just type in a number, you're going to go to this page, which is going to be how you're going to be traveling. I think this will be good information to know, like if your car, bus, plane, or train, um, or you could do another one. I don't know how else you would travel boat, I guess, potentially. Um, and what this will help do, and we're also going to put it, I don't know if you've noticed, but we are also going to put it on our upcoming trips. We'll put it like the little icon there, like that's a car, that one's a plane. Um, the, uh, the reason for that is because obviously a trip with a plane is going to cost more because you have to buy a flight. Uh, gas would probably be cheaper or bus tickets. So those upfront costs can be kind of factored into the average budgets for each location as well. Um, not exactly sure how we're going to do that yet, but I do think this collecting this data will be valuable. Uh, then when you're done with that, you'll get moved to this page, which is asking you, have you saved money already for this trip? It could be like, no, yes. Uh, so maybe you already have like $300 spent for this trip when you create it. 
you can put that in there. It's going to start your budget at 300 already saved. Um, and then you can go from there and add more to the, to the home page as we already discussed. And after that, it's just going to kind of give you like a nice little notification that says like, awesome. You're all set. Your trips to going to whatever that location is for those dates. You know, it's just basically you know, all this information is going to be summed up in one page. And then from there, you'll be brought back to the home page. Uh, the next step is going to be actually transforming these wireframes into on the computer actual prototypes of the app. And we're going to use Adobe XD for that. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to get set up on Adobe XD, how to get started with it, and how to, how to start designing from your wireframes into Adobe XD. Uh, so definitely follow along, subscribe, catch me over there. Uh, and yeah, we're finally in the next video going to be on the computer and really starting the, de the design process into like the deeper, deeper design process of it on, uh, on actual computer. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. All right. Ciao for now.